Hi, today we're going to do a read aloud on the book, What Can Live in a Grassland? So it's by Sheila Anderson and the description is lions and zebras and termites. Oh my, see why a grassland is a perfect habitat for these animals and more. A grassland is a habitat. It is where animals and plants live. Animals have special adaptations. These help them live in a grassland. Bison have flat teeth for eating grass. Their thick coats keep them warm during winter. Zebras have striped coats. Lions hunt zebras, but they can't see stripes. The stripes make zebras hard to find. So now what you are gonna do is go to your Google Doc and you're gonna answer some during reading questions. So here's the first reading during reading question. It is, how do the zebras stripes help them in the grasslands? These pages might help. So feel free to pause the video and answer and type up or write up your answer to that question. Ostriches have long legs for running. They use their claws to defend themselves. Giraffes long necks help them reach food. Termites build mud homes to stay cool. Elephants have long trunks. They use their trunks to pull up grass. So we're going to pause here, go back to our Google document and at, or your piece of paper that you're writing on physically and enter another during reading question. So this question is, what does the text say about elephants trunks? And what can they help elephants do? So what do their trunks help them do? So feel free to pause here and write or type your answer to these questions. Brown coats make lions hard to see in dry grass. What other adaptations help animals live in a grassland? The end. So this book, that is the end of the read aloud section, but feel free to click either the book or watch this video and pause because it talks about more adaptations. So an example is badger adaptations. They have sharp teeth and strong claws. And so the paragraph on the next page talks a little bit how those adaptations help the badger. And so there's more fun facts here too for you to check out if you would like. And a glossary if you did not know any of the word meanings and an index. So yes, we're finished the book. Woo!